This is the figure of a triangular prism. It's a triangular prism because the two bases are triangles and the other faces are rectangular. If there were two rectangles as the bases, it would have been called a rectangular prism or a cuboid. Now let's try to draw the net of a triangular prism. Let's take its duplicate and dissect it. There are many ways in which we can open it up along its edges. We can start off by opening the rectangular face on the right. Then we can open up the rectangular face on its left. Then drop the two triangles to get this. This is the net of a triangular prism. And the top view will look like this. The yellow and the red rectangular faces are the faces to the right and the left of the prism. The black one is at the bottom. The green and the blue ones are the identical parallel faces in the front and the back. Remember, this is not the only possibility. Let's zoom out and see the different possibilities. The prism may be opened up to look like this. We can see that the position of the green triangle has changed. The prism can be opened up to look even like this. Let's zoom out and see another possibility. It might look like this. It all just depends on how you open it up. All these nets are possibilities for this prism. Let's take another example. Here's a square pyramid. It's called a square pyramid because its base is a square and all other faces are triangles. One base and four triangles. If the base was a triangle, it would have been called a triangular pyramid. Forget this solid for now. I want you to try drawing the net of this solid. Give it a shot. Let's try drawing it using pen and paper. To make sure you cover all faces, it's a good idea to name them all. Let the square at the bottom be called B and the four triangular faces be called T1, T2, T3 and T4. The triangle in the front T1, the triangle at the right T2 the triangle behind T3 and the triangle to the left T4. To draw its net, let's draw its base first. We draw a square like this and name it B. And now it's pretty simple. There is a triangle attached to each side of the base. Opening up the four triangles along the sides of the base will give us this. Four triangles attached to each edge of the square. This is the net of a square pyramid and the top view will look like this. This is the base and four triangles attached to the sides of the square. But what if the faces of the solid are curved and not straight? How would we draw the nets? A cylinder and a cone are two such examples. What would the net of these two solids look like? Assume this is an open cylinder which means that the two circular bases do not exist. And this is an open cone without the circular base. Now take a moment and think about how the nets would look like. Okay, so the net of a cylinder is simply a rectangle. Yes, opening it up like this gives us a rectangle. This is the height of the cylinder and this is the circumference of the circles at the top and the bottom. And what about a cone? Opening it up like this gives us a sector of a circle. Yes, the slant height of the cone will be the radius of the circle of this sector. So we have seen how we can draw nets from the solids that are given to us. But would you be able to draw the solid given the net? Is it easy? We see that in the next session.